Welcome to Bat Ranch. You know what I hate? Mastiffs. Big, aggressive, mean dogs. Like this guy. This guy's name is Tony Stark. Come here. He's a big, mean man. This is going to be a very graphic um, intro here. So if you're squeamish, look away. He has this huge tumor that is rotten on the inside. It is a huge, rotten mess. And it smells so bad. He has stunk up the whole room. You can see it's just oozing and bleeding. Very, very nasty. Um, I think what we're going to do is just treat him with antibiotics for a couple days before we do this surgery um, because I just want to knock down as much of that infection as I can before I go in there and disrupt it all. He's obviously doing pretty well. He's healthy. He's eating. He's um, acting pretty good, but this has that big, nasty, rotten, what I assume is tumor. It may not be, but um, we just got him today. He's a homeless dog, and uh, he actually was surrendered by his owners to a kill shelter. So they surrendered him knowing he was going to be euthanized. But that's not going to happen. We're going to fix him. His name is Tony Stark because he has a big hole, kind of like Tony Stark had a hole in his chest. So pretty creative name. We didn't come up with that. But anyway, this is Tony, and we're going to make him all better. It's been two days. It is the day of surgery. I gave old Tony a little tranquilizer, and you can tell it's working good. He looks uh, pretty tired right now. But we are going to take that nasty thing off. It smells a little better. Um, it hasn't, like run everyone out of the building today, but it still smells pretty bad. Giving him a little gas anesthesia, and he is a very happy man. <laughs> He's a good old boy. Ugh, that thing is super gross and very stinky. Looking pretty nasty. It looks a little better after the antibiotics. We're gonna shave it up and start doing surgery. I put a glove over it just so I didn't have to smell it anymore, and it actually really helped, but I'm um, just going to go wide, try to not get into this tumor at all, and take everything out. The thing to worry about is right there on the neck are two giant jugular veins. And if I hit one of those, that's going to be bad news. So I'm going to be going pretty slow, just working my way around, making sure we don't hit anything we don't want to hit. There's a bunch of little vessels going through here. I'm tying them off and clamping them off. Haven't found any huge vessels yet, which is good. But just going through very slowly and blunt dissecting my way through, trying to peel this tumor out. We are about probably 90% of the way making through. I've found a couple big vessels and tied them off. No sign of jugulars, which is all good. So, so far so good. Got it all off now and just kind of have a big round hole. So I'm gonna extend it, make it kind of football shaped, and then close it up. But looks like we got everything. We missed his jugular veins, so all's good. Almost all done suturing up now, and it already smells a whole lot better. Now we have two more little things on the other end that we're gonna take off while he's under anesthesia. Surgery's all done. This looks so much better, smells way better. And we also just finished his neuter. Now we're gonna clean his teeth. Big Bear is waking up from surgery, seems to be doing pretty well and feeling pretty good. We're going to send that thing off to the lab to get a histopath report back, figure out what it is, and make sure there's nothing else we need to do. I felt his lymph nodes in that area. I don't feel any um, swollen lymph nodes, so I don't think it's spread. Hopefully that was the only thing we have to worry about. But he has had a rough day, but it will make way for a better tomorrow for him. What's it been, almost two weeks? Probably. It's been like ten days. Everything's going pretty good with Bear. And then he, I guess, started scratching. He had a big cone on, the, on his neck to keep him scratching. And he totally, there was blood all over his kennel today. He started scratching this thing. And now we're all oozing and he's missing sutures. He busted him out of here. So I'm going to try to staple him. We gave him a little tranquilizer, but he's still awake down here. And this doesn't feel good, but me being a good boy, Bear. Just going to try to staple this to get it to stay together and quit bleeding so much. We did get the report back and it is a benign growth and I got all of it so it should not come back. So that was really good news. It's not something that he's going to need chemotherapy for or anything like that. He had a benign growth. It's gone now. That should be the end of it. Now we just need to get this thing to heal up. But he likes messing with this wound and keeping it from healing. Good boy. Good boy bear. There was blood everywhere. Staples were not big enough to bridge that gap, so I gave him something to numb, 
this thing, and he's still awake. We, we gave him a little tranquilizer to take the edge off, but then I gave him something to numb, and I'm just gonna re-suture this wound that he busted open. And it's gonna take a little while to heal now since it's not a perfect edge like it was before, but it should still heal, we'll just keep on antibiotics. I do Demolition Ranch, so I do some redneck stuff, but this is the most redneck thing we've ever done. This, I, we got this big cone on him, and I watched his back foot come up around the big cone and scratch right where we had just fixed. So I'm sure that's how he knocked those sutures out in the first place. So we put a second smaller cone around because it extends out a little further, plus it's a little tighter to, to his head, and he doesn't seem to be able to scratch around that now. Hopefully this one sticks. We've had Bear for a couple weeks. His neck is healing up well, and he is healthy enough now that we can go ahead and do his heartworm treatment. I'm gonna do that right now. Good boy, Bear. Good boy. All done. We're going to do the same thing tomorrow. We are doing his second heartworm treatment today. Good boy. Good boy. Bear. Good boy. His tail whack the whole time. Good boy, Bear. All done. It's been 10 days since we did Bear's heartworm treatment. It's been about a month since we did his mass removal on his neck. What do you think, bud? Tomorrow, we are actually not gonna have Bear anymore. He is going to a rescue organization up near Dallas, and they are really pumped to get him and help find him a new home. They've been following Bear's story the entire time that we've had him. He is super lovable, so he should be able to find a home very quickly. He's got a great personality. The incision on his neck is about 95% healed up. Another week, it'll be 100%. So Bear is all good. Got that huge tumor off of him. Got his heartworms taken care of. And now he hopefully will go on to have a great rest of his life. I hope you guys could all tell in the opening of this video that I was joking about him being a big aggressive mastiff. I, I like little dogs a lot, but I love giant dogs. I think they're awesome. So thank you guys for supporting what we do here at Vet Ranch and supporting dogs like Bear. Don't forget we have Vet Ranch t-shirts. I'll put a link in the description below if you'd like to get one. Look what he found. The benefits of being a giant dog. Thanks for watching Vet Ranch. We will see you next time. You gotta clean that up, buddy.